In this lecture, I will show you a way of finding the equivalence point of a buffer system. Now, if you don't know what an equivalence point is, check out the link below. So, in the beginning, we have a buffer solution of some known acid. So, if we know the acid, that means we know the acid ionization constant. We could simply look that up. So, in my first step, I basically want to find a Kb. And I want to find a Kb using this formula here. Now, if you don't know what this formula is or where it comes from, check out the link above. And I'll tell you why in a second we want to find the Kb. Well, Kw, something we know at some given temperature, at a 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is 10 to the negative 14. It's the ionization constant of water. Now, this guy equals Ka, something we know, times Kb. So we find Kb by simply dividing Kw by Ka. Now, why do we need the Kb? Well, remember. Remember what the equivalence point is. It's the point at which all the acid has been neutralized by some base. Right? So, I can use the Kb to find the amount of base needed to neutralize our acid completely. And then if I know my concentration of base, I could find the pOH, and using the pOH, I can find the pH. And that's exactly what we do. So, in my second step, I basically use the Kb, or the base ionization constant. I equate that to my equilibrium expression, which states that the concentration of hydroxide, what I'm looking for, equals the concentration of the conjugate acid over the concentration of the conjugate base. Now I can get this guy on this side and uh, divide by this guy and get the concentration that I'm looking at equals a known constant, a known amount, and a known amount. Now I solve and I find my concentration. Next, I find my pOH by using the formula which is negative log of the concentration found here in step 3. And finally, in the final step, I solve for the pH by using the formula 14 equals pOH plus pH. Now if you don't know where this formula comes from, check out the link right there. So I basically rearrange and find my pH. Now remember, the pH represents the equivalence point, right? It's the point at which all my acid has been completely neutralized by the base that I just found, the amount of base. And that's how you find the equivalence point of a buffer solution.